This is the plaintiff, Michelle Satari. She says her car was illegally towed from a parking lot by the defendant, and he also damaged her car in the process. That's right, her car is an all-wheel drive car. The defendant didn't bother to flatbed it. Now she's suing for the $4,000 she's most definitely due. This is the defendant, Brian Sheehan. He says the plaintiff's kids parked the car in one lot and went across the street to another business, so he towed it. The bratty son of the plaintiff even spat at his driver and on the truck. Bottom line, the plaintiff never mentioned any damage to her car when she retrieved it. The car was towed on dollies, and he owes this desperate woman nothing. He's accused of snatching an auto. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant illegally towed and then damaged her car by not flatbedding it. But the defendant says the tow was illegal and the plaintiff's kids spat on his truck. It's the case of Hello, Dolly. Thank you, Douglas. Michelle Satari? Yes. You're suing B&M Electronic Diagnostic Repair Services. You're the tow company, right? Yes. Okay. For $4,000 in damages because they towed your car. Now, you were not driving the car that day. No. Is this your daughter? This is my daughter. And the platoon behind her is you? <laughs> yeah. All my... All your reinforcements? That's my son, Dominic. He was driving. Okay. My brother. Okay. So, well, why'd they pick her to speak instead of you? They trust her more. Apparently, <laughs> I'm a people point. person. That's my point exactly. That's how I'd be a little disturbed. Right. So the four of you were in the car? Is that accurate or is anybody here just yeah. filler? All right. So what happened that day? So basically me, my two best friends and my brother and I and his girlfriend, but she's not here today, obviously. We went to the beach. We went to Rockaway Beach. Um, we picked up Juliet. We have the texts at 1130. It takes an hour to get there. We also have a picture of us, our car, going over the bridge, right? We have an easy pass receipt showing what time we were over the bridge. So we get to the beach. We go to Key Food first. It's on a Saturday. Let me just say that it's packed. It is so busy. So we get our sandwiches, whatever Did we're you getting. Did wear sunscreen? Actually didn't. Okay. <laughs> go to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in Key Food for honestly like a hot minute. You're in Key Food? Key Food, yes, in is the shopping before center. before or after you went to the beach? This is before we went to the beach. Okay. We didn't even get to go to the beach. Oh, okay. Because, so, I'll get to that. <laughs> so um, we're in Key Food, we're ordering sandwiches, we have to wait for that, it's just taking a long time, right? So. My brother's girlfriend tries to find a bathroom, still in the shopping center. It's a whole, it's a big shopping center, still in there. She went to at like Dunkin' Donuts or one of the stores, Popeyes. One of the, it's on a long strip. So we get out. We have all of our groceries. We have the ice for the coolers. The car is gone. We're like, was it stolen? Do you have the receipt from the thing? Yeah, we have the receipt from Key Food. Yep, and also Key Food. When we were stranded in Rockaway with no car and no money because we bought all the food. Um, Sorry, I'm like so nervous right now. That's all right, you're doing fine. <laughs> um, I'm so nervous, it's okay. So, when you were stranded in Rockaway with no car and no food, you had lots of food. Oh, <laughs> sorry, no car and no money, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we were stranded in Rockaway, no car, no money. I was like, literally, where could the car have gone? Because What we were, did you buy? What did we buy? We bought ice, we bought sandwiches, we bought like chips, we bought dips, we bought, um, I, what? Gatorade, we bought like, oh, salt and vinegar chips. I remember we bought salt and vinegar chips. We bought um, Tostitos, lime chips as well. Um, and some salsa, some dips. We bought a lot of stuff. And Key Food all had to hold that for us because we had no car. So what time were you at Key Food? Um, obviously it was after 11.30 because it took like the hour what or so to get there. What time were you at Key Food? Um, Mom, I have the don't, easy don't answer and do not say a word. Okay. What time were you at Key Food? I would say at 12 something. I'm sorry, it, it was kind of a while ago too, but. Okay, let me the, see the tow paperwork, please. So you come out and your first call is to who, mom? My mom. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, uh, yeah, your car's kind of <coughs> not here. Oh, and it's her car? It, it, yeah, like that's car. why too, because it, it was like my mom's car, not even like mine or my brother's, so it was like even more scary. Yeah. And um, so then I called the police. I called the police about three times. So unhelpful. Like literally so unhelpful. I called, they're like, oh, I called 311. Or they're going to be there in 30 minutes. And we were waiting and waiting and waiting. How long were you waiting? Honestly, like an hour at least, okay. even and more. And then after we an hour, what happens? The police arrive or the tow after company? After an hour. So we're kind of like walking 
around the shopping center. And there's like these little signs everywhere kind of saying like, oh, like if your car is towed, like this is basically where you can get it. Like this is what happens, yeah. right? So we call two Ubers because the first Uber can only fit one person. So then I go and it says on the sign, you have to pay a fee to get your car back. Even though it was illegally towed, what else am I gonna do? So my brother gives me the money. I go to this place and um, I'm, I see the car. Had, had you called them? Mm. I mean, why wouldn't you just call them to see if they have your car? Um, Doesn't that sound like- what Yeah. You, I think we did. I'm yeah, pretty sure we did. did. Also, I'm like 17. I had no idea what to How do. How old are you? 17. I didn't know what 311 was. I didn't know <laughs> what to. I literally had no okay. idea. So in any event, you do. end up. You are the one who ends I'm up. I'm the one who ends up going to this place first. Right, but they're not going to release the car to you because exactly. you're it's 17 not mine. and it's, it's not, not in your name. Yeah, it's right. not mine. So, so, but my mom is on her way in my car, and that's an hour away. Yes. Right. So yeah. you get there, mom, and what happens? Where do you go? You go to the tow company yes. because your daughter says, "I see the car." Right. Okay. And they, so you go to the tow company, and what happens? They told me that I had to pay one hundred ninety. Was there a little office there? Uh, like a, a, a little glass, office, and there was a person there who I guess two was a people. dispatcher. I saw a woman, people. and I saw a gentleman. And then you tell them, um, okay, I need to get my car, but why did you tow? Do you get involved and say? Uh, why yeah, did you I asked them. They said they they went to the beach. When I called up to verify they my said, car was there, we saw with our own eyes that you went to the beach. With what? Proof? How far is this from the beach? One block. Eight minutes. Are you the one who did the actual tow? Sorry. Yes. Are you the owner? Yes. How far was this from the beach? Uh, where the car was towed from, about a block or two. Not far at all. Is this a problem over there? Yes. Every, People just park there and then go to the, the beach? The entire summer. There's is there no any park parking at the beach? No. Can I what time it? was this called into you? It was about called into you by your spotter, right? No, it was called into a property management. All right. Do you have an affidavit from property management? An affidavit? To prove to me that they called you? No. Don't you normally? No. I have the person's name who called. And he called you and said what? Those Call. meddling kids, they parked on my lawn. <laughs> no, they just said, he didn't say any of that. He, he gave the description of the car, the plate number of the car. And he said kids and he parked said there and went to the beach. they the property. Okay. Um, and according to you, the son got hostile and spit in your face? He spit on the truck. Oh, spit on As the truck. As I was driving away. They, Come on up, son. <laughs> it's your time to shine. So if the tow truck company did what the property owner said, but the property owner is wrong, is the tow truck company responsible to the car owner? Uh, I think the property owner is in the error here because they made Clearly, a no, no, clearly. But is the tow truck company responsible? Um, I'm not sure about that. What do you say? No. Because? It's the property manager's responsibility. Maybe so, but the car was towed illegally. It was, it was, Towed legally because of the property owner, it was his fault originally. But it was it was illegal because the person was there. The person was there, but it's not on the tow truck company. It's not their fault. They were doing a service that they were asked to provide. Okay. Going inside the courtroom. What's your name? Dominic. Did you spit on the truck? I don't recall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not no. I don't recall. Okay, that's a lie because you're under oath and you shouldn't lie to me. You'd recall if you spit on the truck. I'm going to ask you again. Did you spit on the truck? No. Sit down, Dominic. <laughs> All right. Um, your, the call comes in at 1.23, and your tow is at what time? No, the call was towed at 1.15. Well, that's not what you wrote here. It's in military time. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I, yeah so. I know what military time is. I need you to come over here, and I need you to tell me what numbers I'm looking at. This says time called in, and this is a one, a two, and a three. What time is that? 12.30. Just so that yeah. I know it a little bit. All right. Yeah, you need to be neater, because it's always it always comes down to this. We've been but complaining I, about that. Yeah. No, it's not a small issue. If you can't write clearly for the police and the judges and everybody else to see it later if it, everything hits the fan, you can't keep that job. So... <laughs> <laughs> 13.15 the tow, 12.30 the time called in. Let's see the time on the key food receipt. Yeah, 1.22. 1.22 is after the tow. So really what this all boils down to is whether in fact you got a call at 12.30 for this car. So now let's see what you're suing for because you're not suing for the cost of the tow alone. You're suing for $1,103 to repair the front and rear bumper, $2,000 for the repair of a differential, 
and then seven hundred and ninety two dollars for pain and suffering to bring you to around four thousand because you like that figure. Uh, your explain Honor. that to me, Mom. This is uh, your arena now. Well, I just want to say I have um, my statements from Easy Pass to show when my car went over yeah, the Cross Bay that. Bridge. Let me see that. And I have my tag num my tag with me as well. Okay. Where is this toll? Cross Bay Bridge. That would make it very hard for you to get a call at 1230 telling you to tow the car when the toll uh, uh, Easy Pass registers the toll at 1229 and five seconds. Let me ask you a question. Uh, why are you suing for the repair of the front and the rear bumper, repair of the differential? What's that about? Um, when I checked my car the following day, I noticed that my bumper had scratches on it. It's a new bumper. I had it replaced in April. And I have pictures. What evidence do you have that they did the scratches as opposed to that your car is in parking lots and someone else could have? Well, it's because the way they towed my car, um, when I picked it up, it was facing forward, so it was backed up. So they had the front with the back wheels. The front was up, and the back wheels were on the ground, and that's wait, how. Wait, wait, stop. When you got there, your car was already parked, right? Right. So you are supposing how they towed your car, correct? Right. If your car is all-wheel drive? Yes. Okay. How did you tow her car? With dolly wheels. Dollies. Okay. So, you, well, you, but you make a face. You're like, <laughs> fat chance. How do you know how he towed your car? You have no I evidence know, I don't know. It. Right. Right. Okay. Do you have uh, any mechanic, body man, anybody who says that they did the damage? Can you specifically show me that? No. Right. And that's what I need. I can't have you saying, I hate them. They caused this damage. I need you to actually prove it. You see? So I have here a situation where the young'uns are all testifying that they didn't get there until around 12.30. I have you saying you towed it at 1.15. Um, I have a receipt for sandwiches and stuff that's at 1.22. Um, this isn't my first rodeo. I know people realize their car gets towed and they run in and they buy something. But typically, that something is like a piece of gum or a, a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. It's not this, you know, they're 17-year-old kids. They don't have the money to buy sandwiches twice. Um, they didn't buy sandwiches and then go to the beach because they're buying sandwiches at 122, which would be after he purportedly towed them. Um, and I have something very disturbing, which is the easy pass at 12, 29, and 5 seconds. How far is that toll from the lot? Eight minutes. Yeah. Mm, that would no. make oh, that call lot, at 1230 very minutes. difficult. It's 10 minutes to the lot. Away. I don't care if it's two blocks no. away. It's still impossible. It's, yeah. It's still impossible. If it's two blocks away, it's impossible. So based on that, I, I, I'm ordering the $195 returned to you. But you have not been able to prove to me that they did all this damage to your car. I don't believe that they did. And I'm ruling in their favor as to the rest of it. But as for your lawsuit against them, the 195 plus your um, filing fees. Good Thank luck, you. folks. Thank you. So the judge orders Mr. Sheehan, the tow company, to get back the $195. What do you think? I don't understand why, because we proved that the car, we did not, we're not sitting there to tow the car. So we got a phone call to tow the car. Anybody could be off on time. It's the time issues. The, exactly. The I understand big, big that. Big issue here. I understand. What time does your yeah. watch say? <laughs> you know? Better luck next time. Well, next time I'll be more prepared for that's, that. That's good. Okay. <laughs> that's what I always win. Well, not today. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, look, you got the tow money back. I did. Yeah, I'm but, but you, you couldn't prove the damages to the car. Though. It's okay. You know what? I'm happy. It's over. And, you know, the judge was very fair. All right. Well, Thank congratulations. You. you did you very well, by the way. Okay, <laughs> good for like you. Shaking. You're shaking? <laughs> yeah, I'm like freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right, Have good luck. Day. All right. Harvey? Okay, Doug, I mean, look, the tow truck company clearly can turn around and sue the property owner because the tow truck company did exactly what the property owner said, and it's ultimately, ultimately on the property owner.